People packed a Barbers Hill school board meeting tonight fired up over the dress code. Yeah, it's a dress code some say is outdated and racially insensitive, especially when it pertains to one student who wears dreadlocks. Marcelino Benito in Mount Bellevue with both sides tonight. Guys, Barbers Hill ISD hasn't had a school board meeting in its history with more than two speakers. Tonight, 16 people spoke up against a hair policy that many say is racially charged. I get it. You don't understand locks because ain't none of y'all black. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a district that touts its excellence found itself embroiled in controversy about race, discrimination, and dreadlocks. This is a black and white issue. The dress code is designed by white people for white people that is damaging to black bodies. Activists stood beside DeAndre Arnold and his family as they addressed the Barbers Hill ISD school board. DeAndre has been suspended and won't be able to walk at his graduation in three months unless he cuts his dreadlocks. DeAndre should not have to be, he should not have to go through this. This family should not have to go through this, but I expect it from a school board that has zero diversity. The district says this isn't about dreadlocks or race. There is no dress policy, uh, dress code policy that prohibits uh, any cornrow or any other method of the wearing of the hair. Our policy limits uh, the length. Uh, it's been that way for 30 years. A handful of speakers agreed with the district and pleaded with them not to make an exception with the rules, but the majority didn't buy the district's explanation. We're here about DeAndre, but it's bigger than DeAndre. It's about all the other DeAndre's that possibly can come through Barbara's Hill. DeAndre's family is hoping his hair doesn't derail a good student's future, and they vow to fight this until the end. They have 48 hours to come up with a resolution. If not, we're going to take this to federal court. DeAndre's family tells us they plan to explore a host of different legal options, but at this point, if nothing changes, DeAndre will not be able to walk at his graduation in less than three months. We're in Mont Bellevue tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.